Hey guys, Serge here with the January 20th, 1942 turn video for my 1v1 against Invictus on War of the Pacific Admirals Edition. It has been slightly over a week, but oh well. Uh, so at midway, he has his carriers directly north. I don't think this is the entire Kitabutai. Not too many fighters are there. I have some subs coming down from the north from my ADAC position. I have an AR unit, not unit, but uh, AR group moving up to ADAC. I also have uh, these guys, field artillery, USN base force, and a separate infantry regiment just to put some stopping power on ADAC. I'm also send, going to be sending an AR down to Numea. Going to have to go all the way around. Uh, down here, where is the? I think it's right here. So, so this convoy is going to Suva currently. It has a tank battalion, coastal artillery, and some coastal AA. At Numea, here's where the fun is going to be this turn, I believe. So he's moved his carriers closer. It says he got 50 fighters, 100 bowers. Most crazy report of what he has in that group. I don't think it's true. But, uh, so at Numea, I've got. I've currently got 85 fighters to defend it, and I've got 44 dive bombers that will unleash hell. And the convoys. The convoys heading towards the May have arrived. These two turn, past two turns, they've been unloading. Uh, I think they'll be done unloading this turn. I do have to just keep them here, and have the help my the fighters will defend. As this is the best shot at living. Uh, so every, everything, this is everything that will be here. Bunch of engineers, artillery. AA, some good sized regiments, and then once everything's unloaded, I'll, I'll, you know, move some stuff up to Luganville. Uh, for these guys, I don't really have too much of a, not too much I can do, but there is a bit of a plan I have. It does involve ramming some, trying to ram some heavy cruisers into them. Oh, wait a minute, no. New task force. There we go. What? Did I mess that up? There we go. Uh, I don't want to take the Adelaide because that is a lot slower. I really don't want to take the Stuart as I don't want to risk that huge ASW. So basically, all I can try and do is I don't. He may have one battleship. But other than that, I can beat him. I don't think he has anything bigger than one battleship. So I'm going to try and basically cut him off in the north. And if for whatever reason he decides to come further south, I'm going to have these guys come to this hex. And I'm 
basically gonna have to. I'm gonna leave Brisbane basically undefended. So I'm gonna also move all the ships that are there just in one big task force away. So how many fighters is that now on Umea? 93. Seems like I'm missing a couple of pilots here. Uh, one's on a delay. So I will just get... I don't have anything. I don't have anybody. So I just need a pilot. I'm not entirely worried that Brisbane will be hit, but if it is, I won't have anything to really defend it. It's all set up at, uh, at Port Moresby. I'm trying to bring out the Lark Battalion, but what I can of it because I can't bring out the 25 pounders. I have a pretty strong force here. I've got a full Aussie division. Well, not really full, it's at half strength, but it's, at, it's a reformed Aussie division. Uh, up here, it is pretty much a disaster. I screwed up big time in the Philippines campaign and I'm basically have to try and force these guys back towards because these guys if they don't get there then I absolutely will lose Batan immediate and probably next turn but I really need these guys to get into Batan and unload that cargo I'm unloading what I can with the subs with subs, but they don't carry enough. And if I can get these cargo ships in they don't have any detection yet, so that at least it protects it against a bit of air. But I really do need to I really do need uh to get that supply in or else I'm screwed. Uh, Singapore is doing amazing. I've got 1150 AV. I'm 2% away from level 4 forts. And speaking of that, I need to bring these guys down to Palembang. Which 
Control aircraft. Catalina. Why is it that nothing's restricted here? Maybe it's just because I just need to wait a turn or something. I'm just going to have these guys stand down for the turn. And then I'm just going to move these guys to port, over to Port Blair. My only goal, well, this brigade individually won't do much to the fence, it's really too battered, but what I want to do is just be able to reform the division, because the reformed unit will fight a lot better. Than the regular, un, like just regular division, un, uh, divided units, so. Uh, Fortress Bandwang is gonna do is is building up nice and nice and good. Uh, at Calcutta, I am massing the engineer groups. Uh, aviation support has arrived. I am moving these three units. Well, it's two units, but they're in they're. Uh, Divided. I'm going to move them to Chakanmali. At Colombo, I have the Prince of Wales is ridiculously at 83 days. But I can't do anything there. The 6th Aussie Division I've formed up at Aden is loading, is getting into strap mode so they can load up into transports and hop over. And I did get these. I did get all these bad boys. 50 hurricanes. So, just gonna railroad them down to Calcutta. No point in waiting for them to get their ready status if they're just gonna immediately go back on a rail. So, just gonna immediately send them down. Uh, this is a detached unit, but where's the real, where's the regular unit? Interesting. Gonna just gonna send them down to Calcutta. I'll just do that. Those guys finally got on the damn road. Rangoon is looking really good. I've got these two kind of picket units out here just to know what he has when he gets to mole mine. Um, so people are asking what I'm going to do with Hermes. It, I'm literally just going to use it to transport planes from East Coast to uh, Cape Town right now. Individually, this is useless to me. Only a, a 20 aircraft capacity. Uh, let's look at Sigint. Uh, anything of note? He's planning, he's got a division planning for an attack on Changsha. Well, I already knew that. He has a lot of stuff around Changsha. Heavy volume at Cameron. Can't hit Cameron. Nothing too much else. Ops reports. See anything here? Oh, let's look at the intel reports. Aircraft losses. He's really getting close to having more aircraft losses than I did. Uh, today there was uh, 12 planes total lost. He suffered a lot of ops losses today. Uh, the flak shot down a Glen. He lost two transports to ops losses. 
three ends, two Sonyas. Even though he lost zero to Ops losses, which is great. Uh, we'll be getting even more stuff in the next turn. Some more. Right now, that's that's on a rail line. That's new. That's a rail line. These guys come and got a refit. That's new. That's a rail line. That's new. Okay, there we go. Ship availability. I'll get the, those two battleships out in two days. Get a destroyer in Balboa. Some APs and AKs. Get another ba small batch of subs. Get the light cruiser Sumatra and Surabaya in seven days. On the ground. Got uh, the rest of the Americal division arriving in two days. As well as a tank battalion, some coastal AA, some engineers. Kowloon Brigade arrives in six days. That'll take a while to build back up. A lot of stuff coming into the eastern U.S. in the next week and a half or so. Uh, top pilots, we do have an ace. This guy in China. He's he's annoyingly only one XP away from being sent to Tracom. But we even have a Australian Buffalo pilot with four. That reminds me to go look at China. Uh, this guy just needs to be on regular cap. And then move more of these back to Chongqing. We're in a pretty good spot in China. He's not being that aggressive. And the places he is being aggressive, he isn't really doing too well in. Uh, Cyan was a great result. I don't think I should attack though, as much as I really want to. It's burned me before multiple times where I try to attack with Chinese troops and it just fails miserably. So I, sir, I know I outnumber him. That I, I, I no doubt outnumber him, have more AV than him. It'd be in clear terrain, but I just don't have, I just don't think I really have the chance for it. Uh... As soon as this guy crosses the river into this hex, these guys are pulling back. <laughs> Sir, that sneeze came out of nowhere. Don't know if the mic caught it or not. Uh, these guys are trying to pull back. He is constantly hitting them with troops, and he keeps sending in more. I've really mauled his units here in this hex, so that is a good result for me. Ah, uh, one second. Uh, with this mountain hex, this really was a result of his own doing. I didn't even want this unit here, but if, <laughs> but it just ended up that this unit got stuck here, and he's been stuck trying to get it out this entire time. Uh, I do have. I'm bringing in uh, Lysander recon planes. Just so I can get some reconnaissance. As well as I am sending some British AT guns just to try and get me some more stopping power. Uh, the, the hurricanes that are here, I grabbed the best British pilots I could and put them in. And in fact, I'm going to move these down to Mandalay already. There we go. Well, I have 16 planes, so what I'm actually going to do is Uh, 
release the least experienced pilot I definitely don't want you on that I need some aviation support back at Mandalay. We're all doing really good, in my opinion, for the position I'm in. My biggest mistake has been the Philippines campaign, but he's been way too slow in every other aspect. And I've taken advantage of it. I'm going to end it here and then go over the map one last time to make sure that I got everything I needed to. And then I'll send the turn over to Invictus. So I'll see you in the next one.